Let's go to Luke 17 and 6. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. And the Lord said, If ye had faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye may say unto this sycamine tree, Be thou plucked up by the root, and be thou planted in the sea, and it should obey you. So let me give you an easy definition of what faith is. And I know that I have made other videos about what faith is, but I am really trying to express to you how important faith is. Because if you don't have good faith, or if your faith is wavering all the time, you really won't get too far in God. You really won't. So let me give you an easy definition of what faith is. Faith is blind trust in God. So you don't need any evidence or you don't have to rely on your senses. You are going to believe in God no matter what. That is blind trust in God. And the Lord said, if ye had faith as a grain of mustard seed. Let's look up what a mustard seed is. Let's look it up. Oops. Do you see how small it is? So, do you see how small one mustard seed is? It is a very, very tiny, right? Okay, let's go back. And the Lord said, If ye had faith as a grain of mustard seed. So we know that faith is blind trust in God. And we see how small a mustard seed is. One mustard seed is very, very small. So what this is saying it does not take much yes it does not take much faith to do great things it does not take much faith to do great things you only need a tiny bit of faith to do great things all you have to do is believe and not doubt and you don't need to believe in it very strongly if it only takes a grain of mustard seed to do something great. Look, a mustard seed is so small. Look how small it really is. So it does not take much faith to do something great. Luke 17 and 6. And the Lord said, If ye had faith as a grain of mustard seed, so a tiny bit of faith, ye might say unto this sycamine tree, Be thou plucked up by the root, so come out of the ground, and be thou planted in the sea. So come out the ground, and go into the sea. So what this is saying, let's look up the word or let's look up an image of a sycamine tree. So this is a sycamine tree, I believe. So what this is saying It only takes a tiny bit of faith to tell this tree to come out of the ground and go into the sea. All you have to have is a tiny bit of faith, even for other things as well. 
You may be having an issue in your life now. You may be going through some problems now. You may want to get, yes, you may want to get your sister, your mother, your father, your uncle, anyone in your family, acquaintances. You may want them to repent of their sins, so on and so on. So what Luke is saying, it only takes a little bit of faith to do great things. So when you are praying to God, what this is saying, when you pray for something, don't doubt. It does not take much belief in God to do great things. So even if your faith is weak, let's say that your faith on a scale one from 10, let's say that your faith is at a level one, 10 being the highest, one as being the lowest, on a scale from one through 10. What this is saying, it does not matter that your faith is at a level one, because it does not take much faith to do great things. So as long as you are believing in God for whatever you are praying for, whatever you want, so on and so on, and you don't doubt what this is saying, you can do great things in God when you believe in him and not doubt. So your enemy is doubt. Even with weak faith, you still can do great things. All you have to do is not doubt. I pray that this makes sense. So don't doubt. Believe. Look, man. A grain of mustard seed. That is all the faith that you need to do something great. Look, how hard would it be to speak to a tree <laughs> and make this tree come out of the ground and go into the sea? In human terms or in an earthly way, that is impossible. But what this is saying, all you need is faith that small and you can do great things with that so whatever issue that you are having now what is this saying it just only take a tiny bit of belief in God a little bit of trust in God to do great things how amazing is that But so many people doubt other than just believing a tiny bit. As long as you believe in something a tiny bit, you can do great things with that faith. Faith is powerful. The way that you can connect with God is through your faith and obedience to him, especially obedience to God. So if you are obeying God, all you need is just a tiny bit of faith, small. So when you pray for something, stop doubting. Because even if your faith in God is small, you are still able to do great things with that small amount of faith that you have. So even if you just repented of your sins or you just now started to believe in God two days ago with that small amount of faith that you may have now you can do great things with that I am really trying to break this thing down man <laughs> I really am it does not take much faith blind trust in God to get things that you want done. 
I am going through an issue right now. And there is nothing that I can say. There is nothing that I can do. There is nothing that there is nothing that I can do or anything to change nothing or to change anything. So what am I doing? I am trusting in God. This is telling me all I need to do is trust God as the size of a mustard seed. So even if I have a tiny bit of trust in God, that is all I need. That is all I need. As long as I trust in him a tiny bit, that is going to take me a far way. Just a tiny bit of faith. That is all I need. I don't need anything else larger than that, this mustard seed here, to get things done. So even if other people may doubt and say that, oh, Kevin, this might happen or that might happen, so on and so on. Obviously, their faith is not at the size <laughs> of this mustard seed here. Their faith is non-existent. All I need is just faith the size of that. That's it. If I believed in God, even that little, so many great things can happen in my life. As long as I don't doubt. When you doubt, boom. It is all gone. Keep believing, even if a tiny bit. I pray that this makes sense. God bless.